Hi Gemini's, Trisha here. Welcome to your July 2019 reading. What I'm feeling for you is leading up into July, I feel like there's something that you are really excited about. Like I feel like you're in this kind of this frantic state, almost like the Tauruses, except that your frantic state is really positive because you're frantically excited about something. And so that is pretty cool. And whatever this thing is, it could be really be anything. Whatever it is that you're excited about, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be like you got promoted or something and you're excited about that. It could be something small. And I think for most of you, it will actually be something that seems really small, but you're just really excited about it. Like maybe you have plans to go to Six Flags, a theme park for the day, for the day and you're just really excited about that. Maybe it represents summer or just a good time to you. There's like a distinct feeling that whatever you're excited about is causing maybe you're gonna see somebody that you haven't seen in 10 years and you're excited to grab dinner with them that's really exciting maybe you're gonna see somebody that you've you see often enough maybe you see them once a month and you're just really excited to see them again and again there's a distinct feeling that comes with whatever this is and that's what makes you feel excited you know how Christmas has a feeling you know you just feel Christmas it feels feels nice and happy and cheerful and warm even though it's cold outside and you know it's just holiday good cheer there's a distinct feeling that is associated with whatever you're excited about and that's why you're excited and if you're meeting somebody you may be meeting somebody that you're very well connected to like you feel a strong connection to or they're very special to you so that's exciting too but there's also still that distinct feeling that feels really good feels really nice and in July, I feel like <clears throat> you may already have a few parties lined up or you're going to be going to some parties. July is a continuation, like you're in this fun, happy celebration mode already. And I feel like in July, it's just going to be more of that. This is kind of your time. I know your birthday was like, <clears throat> like May to June, but now that we're in July, it's really more Cancer Leo season. But still, it feels like this is your time, like this is... This is even more exciting than it was around your birthday time. <clears throat> so that's also really positive. In terms of the challenges, so I feel like there is going to be a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be at the very beginning of July, and it's really not going to last long, so it's not, it's not a big deal. But you guys are feeling really, really happy. But some of you may be slightly over-inflating your happiness, just slightly. So... You know, a lot of things work on a frequency. There's, <clears throat> or like a spectrum. There's a color spectrum. There's the light spectrum. There's radio frequencies. And energy, emotions, all also work on a frequency as well. So, you know, let's say, let's take the radio frequency, for example. Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe you're at this 102.1 frequency, which is like lots of happiness. But then, you know, a lot of you are, are there, but then some of you may be dipping back and forth and kind of overinflating it. So sometimes you're at 102.1, but sometimes you're at 100.1. So you kind of dip back and forth. And so what happens is, is that <clears throat> you're at a really high frequency. Part of you is at a really high frequency, so you have all this excitement and these good things coming your way. But then part of you is not entirely there. Part of you dips down sometimes to a bit of a bit of a lower frequency. And so... <clears throat> you're going to have this, this kind of disappointment that happens <clears throat> at the beginning of the month, and it's going to get you down for maybe a day or two, but then you're going to jump right back up because you're, you're in between those two frequencies. So you have these good things happening, but then you also have this dip that comes your way, but then you're also still in a really close range to the happy stuff. So it doesn't, it doesn't take you much to pull yourself out of it and stay in the happy frequency. So you're kind of striding both sides, but the more positive side is going to be the one that wins over. And also something to note is that sometimes whenever you're feeling really good <clears throat> and you're, you've been in that general range for a little while, which I think you have, when one little thing kind of disappoints you, you're so refined in where you are that that one little thing can be can feel like a huge rock that's just been thrown into your factory system. I don't know if my analogy is making sense. And it feels like it causes this huge ruckus for like a day or two. Even though it's really minor, it's just that you're so used to feeling 
being right here and feeling so good that even the littlest thing can kind of be like, whoa, like you, you're not used to handling that anymore. Your life's, you've been living life in a different area, different energetic frequency. And so when something from the opposite side jumps in, you're just like, what is this? So that's all to say that, yes, you are going to have a little bit of a challenge, like the first two days of the month, probably. It's not really going to last long. You're going to be flying high the rest of the month and you're going to be going to parties and you're going to be having this awesome feeling about whatever it is that you're excited about and things are just going to be really nice. This is your month. Enjoy it. And yeah, and sorry if my like radio frequency numbers don't really make sense from, you know, like a science or whatever perspective, <laughs> like high, high and low, but um, it's been a little while since I've, since I've been in school. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.